Hi, and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today, we've got another sponsored video from Morris, and this is about their smart water leak sensor, the MS400H. Now, the Morris Home Hub Kit is required to have this sensor to work, but it, luckily, it comes in the box as a kit, so we're all good there straight away, straight out the box. Brilliant. Now, this works with Apple HomeKit, and smart things, voice assistants to know the status of the device via HomePod and Siri. You can receive instant alerts from the Moas app or Apple app when a leak is detected. It sounds an alarm from within the sensor itself at 60 decibels, so that's incredibly loud. It's got an inbuilt battery which is replaceable, it's the CR123A battery, which is like a pen cell type battery got low power consumption, so the battery it comes with should last for about 18 months. It can do automation set triggers and control of other Morris devices in the Morris app. It's waterproof with an IP rating of IP67. You can control up to 16 other Morris devices on the hub that's included. The hub will support sensors, detectors, thermostats, valves, all at the same time. And the alarm you can hear for about one meter away, three foot, which is the 60 dB level. The Smart Hub works on 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, and the communication between the sensor and the hub it works on a 433 megahertz channel. So before we unbox it and look inside, I just want to let you know what we do here at Brentech. We provide a whole host of online services, such as online backup, online sync, uh, endpoint security for all your devices. We also do remote support, remote network management, on-site setups and support as well. If you want to find out more about us, you can find a link for us down below in the description. Well, let's get on and see what's in the box. So we just open up the bottom and we have the water leak sensor itself and you've got your three points where it detects the water and so the water will bridge those connections and set that off. Now obviously there isn't any rubber on there because it's got to make contact with the surface. Uh, we had a UK power adapter to power the hub. Under our little insert there we have a little probe by the looks of it, a power lead which is USB USB A to micro USB. This is the hub and a set of instructions. Inside your instruction manual, you've got a set of QR codes for the app store downloads that you need to put on your phone. And we have a QR code for an installation guide. So we may have to go and download that. Now you've got the USB C, the micro USB port there for you to plug your hub into. This is a tiny little cable. So as long as you've got a power so socket near that you can plug this in and then connect that to your Wi-Fi, that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna grab another cable so we can have this up on the table whilst we set it up so you can see any lights flashing and things like that. Before I plug the hub in, I'm gonna get my phone and run through the setup instructions. So we will come to the phone and I will put the record on. We'll get a QR code scanner and we'll scan their QR code and it takes us to their website. It takes us to their app. Okay, so we will click add. Now this is odd because I haven't been told to plug this in. We'll go through their setup. Smart sensor and alarm, the MS400. I assume this is the 300. It, it, on the back it does tell you it's a 300. So we'll do that. And now here it says to plug it in. So we'll take our micro USB cable from our sign. Hopefully the batteries will carry that pad on and plug it into here because I just don't have a long enough micro USB C lead. We have a little flashing LED indicator light just in there. It's flashing green and orange. I don't know if the camera can just pick up that tiny light, but we'll go next. It is flashing, so we'll click next. A 
looks like it's found it. So we'll select the item. It's established a connection. It's found our network straight away, so we'll just click Next. And that's because we've already set up other devices, so it's remembered it from previous setups. If not, you just have to enter your select your network and then enter your Wi-Fi password. It says it's done, so we click Next. And it should be rapidly flashing green, which indeed it is, so we click Next. And now we have to start the pairing process for the sensor. So take it upside down, and we've got one, two, three printed on the back there. The camera can't probably pick that up as that is very small, but we just need to connect our connector lead to them to start the pairing process. So we hold it to pin one and pin two, then pin three, then pin two, and pin three. It's detected it. So we'll say next. And it says it's installed successfully. Click finish. So we've now got new device added. So we'll come to users first and we'll make sure there's no firmware updates. And we hear see that we've got a smart hub, which is this update. So we'll go and see if we can update the firmware first. It's now gone to an orange LED light indicating it's either starting or in process of updating. It's now gone to a solid green light. It's now flashing green, it's now gone solid red. Saying the update is done, light has now gone to a solid green. So we click the home button and we've got the leak sensor. So we can have it automatically beep within there, that's the siren. So what we'll just do now is test to see how well that works. So we'll get a little plastic container and we'll just pop it in there and we will now fill it with some water until it bridges those contacts. Now because of the shape of the bowl that I've got is actually raised in the center so no water's actually reached the sensor at the moment. If it was on a flat surface, it would have. So we'll just go a little bit further. And there we go. And that still hasn't fully saturated the base. We can now see that it's gone red on the app. Now the phone hasn't done a warning. It is coming up there. I need to say allow notifications there as well and click save. So let's dry that off. It's now posted no water leak is detected because I've removed it from the leak. And let's just place it back into the puddle of water. And very quickly, we get a response, which will then allow us to uh, take that out, so otherwise it will carry on beeping. That is very responsive. I'll just quickly just dry that off. But that's very quick and responsive. So if you are out and that goes off, you've got time to phone a neighbor or a family member and have them pop around and shut the water off or see what is happening. That's very impressive. Now, I did have problems setting this up like I did with the humidifier and it may have been down to my network. I restarted my access points, my gateway and my switch and then this setup went straight through. So if you do struggle setting this up, just give your router a reset or restart your, or restart your wireless network 
just to clear any sort of glitch that might be happening internally with your network. Um, so since I've done that, this installed straight away and was absolutely flawless, which was what I would expect. So very happy with the installation process after restarting my network. Why I had to do that, don't know, but that was a little glitch that I had. And I think that may have also affected the, the dehumidifier as well that we viewed previously. So this is something I really wish we had previously, as I said before, that we actually had a water leak, our hot water tank burst and caused some damage. Luckily, we got home relatively soon after the burst, so I don't think it was leaking for too long. But this could have just saved us that bit of extra damage and drying out times and would give us peace of mind. So I'm going to be installing this in our airing cupboard where I've got the new immersion heater, um, although I doubt that's going to leak again because that's it's going to have a 20 year lifespan on the new um, water tank. But just for that peace of mind, I want to have it in that cupboard if that does leak again, especially as I installed it myself. Um, although it has been a few years since then and it's never leaked, I'd rather have the peace of mind. But this could go under uh, your kitchen sink where you normally have your stopcock. It could go by dishwashers, washing machines, anywhere that you think there might be a potential leak. And for the cost of buying one of these and running them, compared to any water damage bills that you'd get for something going wrong, this is a good investment. But no, if you're happy that you haven't got any links, but you're gonna get some new equipment, such as you're gonna re-plumb something, get it, put it in the area that you've just re-plumbed or put the new um, utility in, just to be on the safe side. This is really good peace of mind. It might not stop a leak, well, it won't stop a leak, but it will notify you if something does go wrong and it gives you that bit more time to spot it, fix it, and that would save hundreds or possibly thousands of pounds in repair bills. So it's a brilliant, brilliant idea. If you do want to get yourself one, there will be a link for it down below in the description. We've also got a 10% off discount code as well, which you can put in at your checkout, which is Brentec10. So go to our links, or you can go directly to the Meros website and use our 10% off code there. Well, that's all we've got time for now. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Also click that bell notification icon. If you do want to support the video, you can give us a super thanks or you can use PayPal or become a patron. Links for that down below. And that will help us buy more equipment such as cameras, servers, hard drives, and lighting microphones and also some products to do some reviews and testing on as well. Oh, that's all we've got time for now, so wish you, ha wish you all a great day and take care. Bye for now. <laughs>